In this video, we apply Pythagoras to real-world problems, where we calculate a required length by identifying a right-angle triangle. This may involve situations where we need to split up a larger diagram in order to isolate a suitable right-angle triangle. Sometimes a problem involves two or more right-angle triangles, which can be used to calculate an unknown length. So, let's work through some of these applications of Pythagoras. The size of a TV is usually given as the diagonal length of its screen. If a TV has a screen width of 135 cm and a screen height of 75 cm, how can we calculate the diagonal length, x? If we draw a right-angle triangle with the information given, we can use Pythagoras to calculate the unknown x, the length of the longest side. Substitute the values into the formula. Then take the square root to give the calculation for x. Enter this into a calculator, making sure to use brackets under the square root. This gives an answer of 154 when rounded to the nearest centimetre. And now we have the diagonal length of the TV screen. In this road plan, a footpath will connect two roads between points X and Y. The footpath makes a 90 degree angle with the road at point Y, which is 32 metres from the intersection. Point X is 53 metres from the intersection. How do we calculate the length XY of the footpath? Drawing a right angle triangle with the information given, we can use Pythagoras to calculate xy, one of the shorter sides. Substitute the values into the formula and subtract 32 squared from both sides to get xy squared on its own. Take the square root to give the calculation for xy and enter this into a calculator, making sure to use brackets under the square root. This tells us the length of xy is 42, rounded to the nearest metre meaning the footpath is 42 metres long. This aircraft hangar has a roof with a peak in the middle, both sides having the same slope. We know the height at three points and the total width of the front section. How can we work out the length x of the sloping roof? First, we draw a diagram with the supplied information. Since the roof has the same slope on each side, the roof space makes an isosceles triangle. The height of this triangle is 22.7 minus 16.5, or 6.2 metres. And we can split this isosceles triangle in half to give two right-angle triangles. Then we use one of these to calculate the slope length x, the longest side. Substitute these values into the formula. Then take the square root to give the calculation for x and enter it into a calculator. This gives x equals 31.2 meters rounded to one decimal place. And so the sloping roof length of the aircraft hangar is 31.2 meters. In this problem, a new subdivision has a boundary in the shape of a quadrilateral, and the boundary fence forms two right angles, as shown. Three of the boundary dimensions are given, and we need to calculate the unknown dimension, x. By drawing a diagonal, we can split the quadrilateral into two right-angle triangles. We use the top triangle to calculate the diagonal length, y, the longest side. Now, substitute these values into the formula, and take the square root to give the calculation for y. Enter this into a calculator, and it gives us y equals 161 metres. With this answer, we now know two lengths in the bottom triangle, and we use this triangle to calculate the unknown dimension x, one of the shortest sides. Substitute these values into the formula. Subtract 145 squared from both sides to get x squared by itself. Take the square root, and enter this into a calculator. The result is x equals 70 meters. So the unknown boundary dimension is 70 meters. 